What is up guys, my name of course is Carlo and welcome to another very, very quick uh, Dirty Tutorial. Um, someone asked me how they can add Sabre or the Sabre effect to um, Solid um, or video footage, so on and so on. So I'm going to quickly, without wasting your time and messing you around, show you how you would do that. So I've got some footage here that I've sort of trimmed down that I'm going to drop into my timeline and it's simply of a police car a UK police car going down the road. Very, very simple. So I've got my video footage here. I am going to command D that to duplicate it. I'm gonna lock my bottom layer down so I don't need to touch it and it's not interfered with. Just gonna basically work on the top layer. So I'm gonna select my pencil. Uh, make sure Roto Bezier is selected. So what that'll do is when we get to the corner, it will just bend automatically for us um, to give us a nice curve. You can finesse it once you've finished it. It's not a problem. This this is just for the sake of this tutorial to give you an idea um, of where you can go with this. So let's just create this. Boom. So we've got our, um, our, our what do you call it? Our Roro done. Flipping hell. I'm losing the plot here. So with the top layer again, let's right click that. Okay. And we don't need to write that, click that at the moment. What we need to do, guys, sorry, I do apologise. It's been a long time since I did a tutorial, is track um, that um, piece of footage. Um, but we're not going to track the footage, we're going to track the mask. So we're going to select the mask. Um, and if you've got your tracker open in your side panel, um, it will change from the normal track. So if I selected the video, we will get the standard video tracking options. But if I selected the mask, we will get the the uh, mask track options. So what I like to do is use the face track outline only. Um, and I find I get better results for this. So with that selected, we're just simply gonna press play. And as you can see, our mask is being tracked uh, to our footage quite nicely. You can tidy that up. Um, you can see we've got some bits going out, going out a bit there. Um, so just before that goes out, if you get your pen, pen and just bring it over a bit it will auto correct itself so if we go here for instance select out a box and just get the circle and just bring that over it will automatically add a keyframe for you select out the box and bring it here just to tidy up nothing special so let's go back to the beginning and close that and with the top layer still selected we're going to right click go to effects video copilot come up to saber and obviously we're going to get our standard saber look shall i say if we come to customize core select from saber to layer mask and bang it's automatically added it to our windscreen now how do we get the whole picture back so we select on our top layer again right click blend mode and let's go to screen boom hide our mask and as you can see we've got our saber layer attached to our vehicle and what's cool with this you can add all your presets to it so if you go to your presets you can change it and you can add and play around with um the different options it's great to put a fire on there it looks like the side of the windscreen's on fire um it looks pretty awesome you can play around with a custom cause evolution exactly sort of like the same way you would do it with text um in saber you can do it with um um it on solids so pretty straightforward um, you can add distortion, glow settings, you can add whatever you want, you know, to it, make it like the intensity sort of like a lot more. So it looks like the whole thing's on fire if you want like that. It's a great way of um, torturing a car, a police car, shall I say. Um, yeah, just play around with settings and yeah, that's basically it. So, very quick, very dirty. Um, let's just round preview that. Quite laggy, but um, still pretty, pretty cool. Once it's um, been exported, um, it looks okay. So as always, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, smash that like button. That would be appreciated. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. It does, does help me out a lot. Um, and as always, I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.